Hi, I founded a company called Tinker and Twist in Austin, Texas. Now what we do here is a little unusual. We have a retail store, brick and mortar, where we sell maker products. See, what's happened over the last few years is that as the maker community has started to grow and expand, less and less has become available in stores where you can simply go buy it and check it out and try it out. Now, a huge demand has started up where they say, hey, how do I know this product's any good? How do I know that this is something that I want? Well, you have to go to Hackaday. You have to go read the comments. You have to go to places like Spark Fun. You have to go to Adafruit. You have to go to the forums or not. What I'm doing is I'm starting a new store called Tinker and Twist in Austin. It's a brick and mortar company that will be open in the domain, which is a location at a major mall. The idea behind it is I stock products from Spark Fun, Adafruit, uh, I spark 3D printers, and they come from Type A machines, they come from Lulzbot, and I test everything before it's actually put in front of the public. Because Tinker and Twist is about curated commodities for a discerning maker. We try to bet the best products, put them on our shelves where you can actually come and try it out. Now, it takes 100 days to build a store between the permits, the electrical, and all the building. So while we wait, I figured why wait? So here at South by Southwest Create, I created a mini pop-up store using local materials here in Austin, CNC milling, paint, mostly in my garage. Uh, more to come on Hackaday later, I'm sure, as a build, you know, a build log. But uh, we have a tiny store that has most of the common products and kits that we'll sell. Uh, we have things like the watercolor bot from Evil Mad Scientist Labs. We have a flickery flame kits. We have soldering kits. We have educational stuff. We have books from Adafruit, and they're all available here. Now, if you ask, how does a store work at a place like South by Southwest? My answer is pretty well. We've done really, really well in our first three days of existence, and I hope that that bodes well for the future. You can find us on Facebook as Tinker and Twist. You can find us on Twitter as Tinker and twist. In a, just a few days, you'll be able to go to tinkerandtwist.com, not to order products around the world, but to look at what we have and pick it up locally. And believe me, it's my intention to make sure that our store is available not just in Austin, but in the course of the next couple years, your city.